Hello friends and welcome to another video. This week, I'm gonna have all of my outfits chosen for me by an app. Yes, this is concurrently the future and also 1995. So this product called Purple or Pure Pull is an online closet organizing app, which from their description on the app store seems to have a lot of different use cases, but most notably claims to be able to be a virtual stylist that can suggest you outfits based on your own clothes that you upload to the app. Now, when I heard of this, I immediately thought of Cher's app from Clueless, which I guess wasn't exactly an app. It was more of like a PC program, but either way I had to try it. Now my closet doesn't even come close to rivaling Cher Horowitz's, but I'm curious to see what this app can do. I have a lot of black clothing items, so I'm not going to do my whole normal wardrobe because I think they'd be a little too easy to match. Instead, I'm going to throw in a few pieces that I wear all of the time, a few more colorful pieces I wear less of the time, and a few items from past videos that are a little more unconventional just to see what purple will do with them. Okay. Let's get it on. So first, I'm gonna take pictures of all of my clothes to upload to the app. So I think I've got everything that I wanna put into the purple app right here. I think we have enough stuff. I've got like a few of every category of clothes. Yes, work it. We might be here for a while. I feel kind of like a mom, like taking photos of their kids. Like, Kim, you're doing amazing, sweetie. How many photos can I take of the same sweater? Apparently a lot. Okay, so I finally took like all of my photos of all of my clothes and now you have to upload them into the app and like give them some information about it. So I'm gonna enter this long black cardigan. This I will add as a sweater. There you go. So you can put in a lot of information about each item. Um, occasion, weather, rating, size, color, price. I think we should definitely add in like the color at least. I think that to some degree they must use the photo, but I think any information you can give them will help. So I'm gonna add in the color for all of the things I just put in, which is um, five bags, eight dresses, seven pairs of earrings, seven jackets, five pairs of jeans, 10 necklaces, three pairs of pants, 14 pairs of shoes, three pairs of shorts, five skirts, five sunglasses, and 17 tops. So check back with me in about an hour. Okay, I think I'm done. I ended up pretty much just doing the colors, but I did input multiple colors in for each item if there were multiple colors represented. So I'm going to ask it to suggest me an outfit. I'm gonna ask for a bag, dress, earrings, jacket, necklace, shoes, and sunglasses. And then let's see what it says. Oh. It's a little, a bit of a random outfit, but it's definitely a full outfit. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I'm like moving it around. It looks like I can almost like swipe like Tinder. That's interesting to note. Like maybe we should just swipe around a little bit just to give it some sense of my preferences for what I like to wear. But I feel like when it comes to the week and like actually wearing the outfits, I think I'm just gonna take their first suggestion right off the bat, just cause I wanna see what they want me to wear. So starting tomorrow, I'm just gonna ask it for some items of clothing and then it's gonna suggest me an outfit and I'm gonna wear it. All right, so it's day one of purple choosing my outfit. So let's see what they want me to wear today. So today I'm gonna need a bag, some earrings, a jacket, pants, necklace, shoes, and a top. Ah. Okay, so this is my first outfit that they want me to wear. It's interesting because it's kind of a combination of a lot of different colors and textures. I can see some like consistencies with the iridescence in my hollow backpack and in my Tiva shoes, but everything else is kind of um, a little all over the place. All right, let's put it on. So this first outfit I call the hollow and acid wash soup look. Besides the acid wash, the rest of the outfit's like a little Kim Possible. It is Kim Possible. Even the choker's like a little Kim Possible. That's because of her red hair. So you're like, this is her hair, this is her top, and this is her bottom. Overall, I actually like this outfit. And I'm glad that Purple seems to be a fan of my platform Tevas. Which I feel like no one else likes besides me, okay. and now this app Purple, so. Hurry up. I like those things. You've roasted me before. I have roasted you. <laughs> I love it when my hammer toes are exposed. Get at me, wiki feet. I'm still not exactly sure what about it, it like matched together in its computer mind, but I think that to the human eye, this outfit is kind of cool actually. I think between the Kim Possible vibes and the Tevas and the acid wash, something about this outfit is kind of like giving me nostalgia for like the mid 2000s. So even though I'm outside of my comfort zone color wise, I'm very much in my comfort zone in like pop culture references. <laughs> I saw Katie Heron wearing army pants and tibas, so I bought army pants and tibas. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Stop trying to make that happen, Saf. Someone support me. 
So for my second outfit, Purple chose for me this like mashup of like a rainbow and a dark look. The Eevee shirt is back. The Eevee shirt is back, not necessarily by popular demand, but it is back. I think Purple definitely matched things by like rainbows today with the opal earrings and like all the different colors in the shirt and the holographic boots. So it's kind of going like all the colors and then black stuff. Maybe in their program, they're like, ah, patterned or like multicolored things go well with simple basics. So they were trying to like offset the rainbows with some more simple stuff, but that's just a guess. Ready for the magic? Boom. Ooh. Can you see it? Yeah. It's hollow, bitch. I think that Purple did an okay job with this outfit. It was definitely fun to revive the Eevee shirt and the holographic boots, but I think overall the effect was kind of like, I went to an EDM concert yesterday. I feel kind of like a rave casual. I did enjoy wearing the outfit though. Even though the Eevee shirt is by no means a fan favorite, I did enjoy bringing her out on the town. She's, she's making a comeback. Here, I'm gonna feed Eevee. Oh uh, yeah. That's in, that's in the Eevee's eye though. Oops. Sorry, Evie. We couldn't put it through the fly. <laughs> so for my day three outfit, Purple went for this pretty simple jeans and a t-shirt look. I am wearing this like black t-shirt with a little pocket with my little cat that flips you off. Oh, I love that guy. And I'm wearing these flare jeans from the 2007 video. I think it was definitely matching like the black shirt with the black bag. And then interestingly enough, the pink shoes, I think with the pink from the ears of the cat, because I made sure that when I went through inputting information about all of these items, I put in like every color that was on there, which maybe was a mistake on my part, but I think that's what happened. I feel like a spunky high school meet. You do have a high school vibe to you right now. Day three was also a big filming day. It's when we filmed the buying a full face of makeup blindfolded video. So it was actually pretty coincidental that Purple chose me like a quite comfortable outfit for that day. And I'm very thankful for that. But overall as an outfit, I think it's pretty bare bones. Something that's interesting about the Purple app is that maybe it'll suggest something that'll like spark some creative interest. You know what I mean? Where you're like, hmm, I never thought of putting those together. But with this, I'm just kind of chilling. I I would definitely wear this outfit again, probably watching TV or hanging out like on a weekend. So it's pretty late at night and I'm still wearing my outfit. I feel like at this point, I'm usually changed into pajamas of some kind, but I'm pretty comfortable, so. Or should I say, I have pretty medium feelings about this outfit, but I have pretty great feelings about this little cat. So on day four, Purple pulled out my olive green wish parachute jumpsuit. I did put it in the roster just to see what would happen and uh, Purple wasn't afraid to pull it out. Yeah, I think Purple was like, oh, a jumpsuit and Wish was like, sort of. There are definitely some through lines in this outfit. I feel like I'm like straddling the line between like clown parachute pant look and like a little bit of like a disoriented Dua Lipa look. I think that the biggest through line is the floral stuff. And there is some green in the leaves of this jacket, which maybe makes sense with why they chose the green jumpsuit. The holographic backpack, I think the thing is like, because it's kind of rainbow, they seem to be putting the holographic stuff with pretty much anything they want. Can't leave your hollow at home, kids. I would say that overall this outfit is kind of cool in its own way, but I definitely was just like a shapeless parachute underneath a bomber jacket. Oh, that's hot. That's what they want in the club. Usually people like to wear less clothes at the disco. I like to wear more. I like that in the evening breeze, it almost acts like a sail. I feel like if you like uh, fell off like a rather high ledge and you were wearing this thing. I'd be like um, a flying squirrel. I think that something about this outfit made me think like, oh, maybe I'll wear this bomber again. Oh, maybe I should wear these shoes more often. But altogether, I'm not really sure I pull it off. Your butt is like all out right now. This is the atomic wedgie jumpsuit. On day five, Purple pulled out the acid wash and hollow combination once again. This is the least dark outfit I've seen you wear in like the last two years. You're not wrong. Kind of all of the items besides the earrings are kind of like a white, blue, or silver tone. I think that the earrings, which are red and gold, are a little random for this outfit. But besides that, it is kind of just like um, a little bit of like a light wash look. I'm like the white swan version of myself. Like usually I'm yang and today I am yin. I think that purple did a decent job with this outfit. There's nothing wrong with it. So I don't think I stick out. I think I only um, <laughs> stick out to me. The only thing that I didn't like about wearing it is that I felt like I had to be really careful when eating or drinking because usually I'm wearing a black shirt that if something spills into it and I can almost just like rub it in. <laughs> drinking tea is now just suddenly very high stakes. I'm bringing
carrying the saucer with me. So on day six, Purple chose for me this flowy autumnal look. I feel like in general ready for fall, but like LA fall. Yeah, you could be going to like a pumpkin patch. Are you gonna take me? You wanna go to pumpkin patch? Wait, yeah, actually. So most of this outfit is black, but they did throw in this kind of like butternut squash colored skirt. So they've kind of built up like a black base and then accented it with a color. I feel like a kooky middle school art teacher. Yeah, almost like a hip witch. That is my desired aesthetic. This was by far my favorite outfit of the week that Purple chose. Have you been able to see any booty? No booty yet. I don't think we have to blur this video. All right, well, just look out for it. My only problems with the outfit were the accessories and the top choice. The accessories were just a little much and like just almost too giant. Your earrings look like they're trying to catch a television signal. I think Purple may have a problem with identifying the shape or size of things because I don't think they knew how large these earrings would be. My other small problem with the outfit is that I really like this cold shoulder top, but they kind of hid it underneath this jacket. But overall, I really like this outfit and I haven't worn this skirt in a while, but but I really do like it. And I kind of forgot that I had it in a way. So it was like a fun rediscovery of something that I already owned. It's very flowy. It's like a paper bag slowing through the wind. Ready Looking to start, to start again. again. I would definitely wear this whole outfit again. In fact, I would like to wear it again very soon within the months of October and November. Tyler, you better f***ing take me to a pumpkin patch in this outfit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Day seven marked the return of the hollow backpack and the cat middle finger guy. Purple's holosexual, who knew? Purple's like a future AI. They're like se literally sexually attracted to holographic things. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be honest, this was a pretty random outfit, especially for the last day. I was like looking for like a grand finale, but like day seven was just kind of like blurp. it's a little more laundry day than i think some of the other outfits have been this week but i think purple's you know taking a risk they're trying some stuff my favorite part of this outfit was that i got to wear this shirt that a subscriber sent to me because it reminded them of the ugliest shirt in the world give me your arm you trying to tie me in i'm staking my claim good <laughs> this is what i wanted you happy I would not wear this outfit altogether again, but I did like everything I was wearing. You know what I call these? What? Nipple copters. Also, I don't usually wear these slippers outside of the house, and um, I maybe should because they were fun missiles to launch at Tyler. I can almost catch them. You gotta give me a warning. Give me one more. Okay, so that was my week wearing purple recommended outfits. It was definitely fun to see what purple would suggest and also what its favorite items seem to be. Purple is definitely a holosexual. The hollow backpack, the hollow boots, the hollow tote bag, like kept coming out. It's also really fun to just swipe through the suggested outfits. It's kind of like you're online shopping, but in your own closet so you're not spending any money. My confusion about the app is that it doesn't seem very clear what exactly the technology is supposed to or what it's trying to do. I feel like sometimes it just stumbles upon a cool outfit and other times it kind of just gives you a something. I would be interested to know what the app can glean from the photos that you give it because I feel like there's a possibility that they're just taking the information that you give it like when you categorize it and when you tell it what color it is and just kind of like spitting it back out. I would hope they have some type of like photo reading technology, but from my experience this week, I can't say for sure yes or no that they do. Even if the technology is potentially pretty basic and the matches are kind of random, I did enjoy using it. I don't think it's perfect at recommending full outfits, but it's definitely good for a little inspiration. I also have a soft spot for it because it likes my platform Tevas and my Birkenstocks and no one else really does. So I'm team purple because purple is team me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked that video, make sure to smash that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you've already smashed that subscribe button, make sure to also smash that little bell icon in the middle to turn on post notifications. So you get a notification every time that I post. Here are my social media handles and make sure to check out my next feed. I do a lot of daily vlogging and Q and A's on there. A big shout out to Tabutha, Thanks for watching, Tabutha, and I will see you guys a next time.